Hey everyone, my name is Matt White and I'm the second generation owner of BWI and we insure more Cessna 180 and 185 aircraft than any other broker on the planet. And today I'm gonna reveal my top five Cessna 180, 185 aircraft insurance tips. So let's go. Starting with number five, insured value. The aircraft market is crazy right now, so how do you make sure your 180 or 185 is insured correctly? Here's how I think about it. If your aircraft was completely destroyed by a neighbor's hangar fire, how much would it take to go out and buy a similarly equipped aircraft? This includes time on the prop, time since major overhaul, paint and interior conditions, and any extra equipment or modifications. You can use AOPA's VREF valuation, look at trade plane or controller to find similar aircraft. But at the end of the day, if you have a total loss, you should be able to take the check from the insurance company and go buy a similar equipped aircraft. Pro tip, you should reevaluate the insured value of your aircraft every year at renewal and throughout the year if you add any significant equipment or modifications. Number four, let's talk about floats and amphibs. If your aircraft is on floats or amphibs, you need to pay special attention to make sure your aircraft is insured correctly. Tip number one for floats and amphibs, as you probably know, the float rate is at least double the wheel rate. But there's one thing that a lot of brokers miss and that's how many seats are actually installed in the aircraft. If you don't have all six seats installed, let your broker know, as you may be able to save some money on the liability portion of your insurance policy, since the risk to passengers in the back is higher than on wheeled aircraft. Tip number two, if the aircraft is only on floats or amphibs seasonally, or for a few months out of the year, you don't wanna pay the full seaplane rate for the entire year. Let your broker know how many months out of the year it's on floats versus wheels, and many times the underwriter will offer you a reduced annual rate that takes that into consideration. Tip number three, if your Cessna 180 has an insured value of 150,000 and separately the floats are worth 80,000, the total insured value on your policy should be 230,000, taking into account the floats and the aircraft together. If you see a total insured value of 150,000, then you are missing $80,000 in floats coverage. Number three, coverage if the aircraft's on skis. If you put skis on the aircraft, make sure you notify your broker immediately and make sure your broker understands how all the 15 aviation insurance companies handle skis coverage. What do I mean? Each insurance company looks at skis differently. Some companies will exclude all coverage if the aircraft's on skis. Other companies automatically include coverage for skis and some companies will add skis for an additional charge. Your broker needs to be super familiar with tailwheel aircraft and understand how each company looks at coverage for skis. The last thing that you want to happen is to be an incredible pilot, put skis on the aircraft, you forget to tell your broker that the aircraft is on skis, and when you're landing, one of the ski gear breaks and destroys the aircraft. I've seen it happen, it's not fun. Number two, off airport landings. The Cessna 185 is the perfect backcountry and off airport landing aircraft. Most insurance companies have no restrictions on off airport landings. That means you can pretty much land anywhere and you'll have insurance coverage. However, what if you land off airport and you can't get the engine started and you need to get back to an airport? Here's a pro tip. Many insurance companies include what's called off airport retrieval. This is a separate coverage that's built into the policy that will pay for a helicopter or trailer to take your aircraft and get it back to an airport. And this is only if you land off airport and the aircraft is not damaged. If the aircraft is damaged, then you would just turn in a normal claim. Off airport retrieval coverage amounts vary by company and some insurance companies don't offer it at all. Number one, the right broker. My number one best Cessna 180-185 insurance tip is to make sure that you are with a broker that understands tailwheel aircraft and all the intricacies of insuring these types of airplanes. There are so many different insurance situations for Cessna 180 185s alone. Student pilots, transition pilots, high hull values, skis, floats, off airport landings. Knowing the best markets for all of these situations, having long-term key underwriter relationships, and understanding all the different parts of insuring 180 and 185s correctly is what differentiates the right broker with everyone else. I will also add that it's not always about price. Price is super important, but so is what happens at renewal. What happens when you turn in a claim? What happens when you turn 70? Aircraft insurance only matters if it's there for you when you have an accident or incident. Taking into account the long-term picture of many years of aircraft ownership and your relationship with the insurance company is so important. That's it, thank you for watching this episode and stay until the end. If you are looking for Cessna 180 or 185 insurance, call the experts at BWI. Our agents are highly trained, 
We know this aircraft, we love this aircraft. We have the only dedicated Cessna 180-185 insurance program in the world. It is also the longest running aviation insurance program in history. We are super proud of our insurance program. Thank you for trusting BWI and fly safe.